now, today, for our patients, we have three options. Osimertinib, Osimertinib with chemotherapy, and amivantamab with lizertinib. Can you touch a little on this treatment schema that we have for our patients? Absolutely. So we've used osimertinib in the front line for the last several years since the FLORA data came out showing improved progression-free and overall survival compared to the first and second generation TKIs, also improved efficacy um, in the CNS and improved tolerability. So that's been our standard of care for the last six or seven years. Um, and then in 2024, we had approval of two new combination regimens. So the osimertinib chemotherapy regimen is FLORA 2, um, and then Mariposa, amivantamab, and lizertinib. Both have a third generation TKI backbone with the addition of you know, this second intensification drug. Um, Flora 2 used, you know, carboplatin and pemetrexid, which we're familiar with in, in lung cancer, and added that to frontline osimertinib, improved progression-free survival to more than two years from about 19 months with the osimertinib arm, um, and um, we're waiting on the overall survival data, but interim analyses are, are trending towards um, a positive signal for overall survival. You know, the toxicities that we look at for that are, are the ones that we're familiar with from chemo, so things like cytopenias, um, upper GI toxicity, and um, not a lot of overlap in the toxicities. The Mariposa regimen does not add chemotherapy. It adds amivantamab, which is a bispecific EGFR met um, antibody. And that comes with some additional cutaneous toxicity from the dual EGFR inhibition. It was also very effective, though, in improving progression-free survival. And then the final overall survival analysis demonstrated um, that it was superior to osimertinib for patients. Now, which patients need the intensification is I'm sure what we're gonna be talking about, um, and we can get into the nitty gritty of that, but there are several subgroups of higher risk disease that benefited from both combination strategies. So things like CNS metastasis, positive ctDNA at baseline, lack of clearance of ctDNA, high burden of disease, um, TP53 commutation, um, and others. So that's that's the landscape that we have right now.